In this video, we'll explain the movie My Teacher, My Obsession. This Netflix original film is based on a young girl who is criminally obsessed with her hot new teacher. Will she get to sleep with her teacher, who dies in that intense fight in the end? Let's find out. The movie begins in a dim school hallway where the janitor is sweeping the floors. Just as he's about to leave, he suddenly hears a loud bang. He follows the noise up to the locker room, where he finds a young girl curled up on the floor. She looks terrified and asks him to get help. When he walks out, another girl covered in blood suddenly shows up and asks him to run away right now. Then the scene switches to a normal day at school. We're introduced to Keila, a girl who's taking photos of everyone for the school yearbook. While taking photos, she's stunned by their new English teacher, Chris. In the same room, we also see Trisha, another popular girl at school who believes she can seduce Chris in just two days. In the next scene, Chris is giving his first English lecture. Every girl in the class has an immediate crush on him because he's so handsome and charming. Right after class, Trisha stops outside the classroom and starts flirting with Chris. Kila sees this from a distance but quietly walks away. After that, Kila heads to the computer room, which is her usual spot to hang out at school. There she meets Riley. The two girls shake hands and become friends, and that's when Riley reveals that Chris is her father. Kila thinks that becoming friends with Riley can help her get closer to Chris. Seizing this opportunity, Kila asks Riley if she can come over for a study session tonight. Riley agrees because she's new in town and doesn't have any friends. After school, we see Kila taking photos of Chris and becoming more obsessed with him. When she goes back home, she finds her mother on the treadmill, preparing for her date tonight. That night, Kayla imagines doing passionate things with Chris and begins playing with herself. She's already fantasizing about sleeping with her teacher. The next morning, Kayla goes to Riley's house and immediately starts asking about Chris. When she asks why they live alone, Riley reveals that her mother was cheating on Chris, which ended with her parents getting divorced. After that, Riley and her father decided to move to a new place to restart their lives. At this point, Kila also shares that her father abandoned her when she was only six years old. When Riley heads to the bathroom, Kyla sneaks up to Chris's room and sniffs his bed. She lays there, imagining herself getting under Chris. The next day at school, Trisha isn't giving up on flirting with Chris. She makes sexual jokes in the middle of class, but Chris doesn't get the hint at all. After class, Trisha goes up to Riley and tries to become friends with her. When Kella sees Trisha and Riley together, she gets jealous and tries to turn Riley against her. In fact, she even tells Riley that Trisha is a dangerous girl who's obsessed with Chris. Riley doesn't believe her, so Kila explains that Trisha has a history of sleeping with teachers at school. She also reveals that Trisha slept with a history teacher last year. After school, Riley tells Kila that she's turning 18 soon, so Kila tells her to throw a birthday party at her house. Since Riley doesn't know many people, Kayla says she'll bring all her friends from school to the party. After that, Kayla doesn't even wait a minute before shifting the conversation to Chris. She finds out that Chris is dating someone new, but she can't imagine who it could be. Right after the call, the doorbell rings, and Kayla is shocked to see Chris all dressed up in a suit and holding flowers. It turns out that Chris is going out with Kayla's mother. She gets annoyed when she sees her mother and Chris flirting, so she sabotages their big date by accidentally throwing the flowers on Chris. Now that his clothes are ruined, Chris decides to stay at their house for the night. At the dinner table, Kala can't get her eyes off Chris, but is constantly irritated by the way her mother is swooning over him. Eventually, she decides to go back to her room. Kila knows that her mother is planning on sleeping with Chris tonight, so she comes up with a plan to stop them. In the middle of the night, she rushes out of her room and claims that someone was watching her change from the window. She says she's scared and wants to spend some time with her mother. During the conversation, Chris tells Kila that Riley is hanging out with Trisha. This annoys her because she knows that Trisha is a threat to her plan to get with Chris. The next morning, Chris offers to drive Kila to school. On their way, they make a quick stop to pick up Riley too. While they wait, Kila tries to flirt with Chris by saying that she's a grown-up who can do whatever she wants, but their moment is interrupted by Riley opening the car door. In the school's printing room, Kyla confronts Riley about hanging out with Trisha, despite her warning that she's a dangerous girl. Riley gets defensive and reveals that Trisha said she wasn't the one who slept with the history teacher. In fact, it was Kila. Hearing this, Kyla gets super angry and denies the whole thing. Later, she goes up to Trisha, bumps her into the locker, and warns her to stay away from Riley. But that doesn't faze Trisha at all. Later that night, Kayla dresses up in some seductive clothing and takes very sexy photos of herself. The next day at school, Kayla opens her locker and finds it filled with all those photos. 
Other students in the hallway start making fun of her, but Riley offers to help. After that, Keela runs to Chris's office to tell him about what happened. He promises her that he'll find out who did this and get them punished. As they were getting closer, Riley walked in and was shocked to see them together. In the next scene, we see Keela and Riley back in the computer room where they start talking. Keela apologizes for her rude behavior and even admits to sleeping with a history teacher because he manipulated her. Later that night, Keela sees her mother getting ready for another date with Chris, but when he's in the bathroom, she tries to look at Chris's phone. When her mother snatches the phone, she reads some sexual messages from Trisha. Keela's mother gets angry and accuses Chris of using his students for pleasure. She dumps him and asks him to leave her house immediately. But when he's in the car, Kyla steps in and starts making moves. Even though he resists at first, she finally succeeds in seducing him, and the two make out passionately in the car. When Kayla comes back to her room, she's super happy that she got what she wanted. And that's when we find out that it was Kayla who sent those messages to Chris from a burner phone, pretending to be Trisha. The next day in class, Trisha keeps trying to flirt with Chris at his table, but Kayla interrupts them. Suddenly, the police barge into class and take Trisha away. Apparently, they found the phone used to text Chris and Kyla's photos in her locker. Now it's finally time for Riley's birthday party. Kayla gives Riley some presents before sneaking up to Chris's bedroom. She seduces him again by kissing his neck, and things start getting heated. Just as they're about to get down to business, Riley walks in and is disgusted to see them almost naked. She rushes out of the room, and Chris runs after her, but she leaves the house. When Chris decides to go look for his daughter, Kyla stops him and lies, saying that Riley is addicted to alcohol. The next morning, we see Keela's mother getting text messages from Riley telling her what she saw last night. Meanwhile, Chris tries to fix his relationship with Riley, but she doesn't want to talk. After class, Kyla's mother barges into Chris's office and slaps him across the face for sleeping with his students. She takes Keela outside to lecture her, but Keela insists that she's a grown woman who can make her own decisions. In fact, she claims that she and Chris are in love with each other. At home, Riley confronts her father about everything and wants to know why he was hooking up with Keela. Chris is ashamed and promises that it won't happen again, so Riley forgives him in this emotional moment. The next day, Kana knows that she needs to come up with a new plan, so she calls Trisha to meet her before school starts. When she shows up, Kayla reveals that she framed her and then starts hitting herself violently. She even breaks her finger to make the whole thing seem real. When Chris and Riley arrive, Kayla screams for help and says that Trisha attacked her. Trisha gets arrested again while Kayla goes to the hospital. There, Riley tells Kayla that she can't continue this relationship with her father. Kayla agrees and asks Riley to take photos for the yearbook at the basketball game tonight. Before she leaves, Kayla asks Riley if she can see Chris one last time to say goodbye. Then Kayla uses that opportunity to tell Chris that Trisha is gone now, so they can finally be together. Chris refuses, but Kayla reminds him that he'll have to see her every day in class. Hearing this, Chris decides to quit his job and goes to school to pack his things. Back at the hospital, we see an angry Kayla stealing a scalpel from the hospital and escaping. It turns out that Kayla came to school at night, where she knew she'd find Riley. She says that only one woman can be in Chris's life before stabbing her in the stomach. Then she goes to Chris's class and threatens him with a scalpel, saying that they're meant to be together. Meanwhile, Riley manages to get up and find help. In the classroom, Chris and Keela get into an intense fight. Chris manages to push her away, but Keela attacks him. Chris bangs his head on the table and passes out. And that's when we go back to the opening scene of the movie. After the janitor ran into Riley in the hallway, Kayla sneaked up from behind and silenced him. Then Riley and Keela get into a fight in the hallway, where Riley eventually knocks her unconscious. In the final scene of the movie, both girls are being taken to the hospital in ambulances. Months later, we see that Chris and Riley have moved to a new place to start over again. Chris is excited about his new teaching job, while Riley is about to leave for college. But just as Riley is driving off, we see a hooded figure coming out of hiding outside Chris's house. Is this Kyla? Is she still obsessing over Chris? We think so. The moral of the story is that if someone has a bad reputation and wrong intentions, it's better to cut them out of your life immediately. Especially if you don't want a stalker like Keela ruining your life. And that's it for this movie recap. If you were Riley, how would you protect your father from an obsessed student? Let us know in the comments below.
If you enjoyed this video, we're sure you'll like this one even more. Click now to watch.